Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, of course, this is the Mikey Report. However, this is a different version of the Mikey Report. I'm actually taking a soapbox stand right now. Um, this Wednesday, Mike Huckabee has told people to go to Chick-fil-A to support Chick-fil-A for on their stance against against gay marriage. Now, there's been report people reporting saying that Chick-fil-A gives money to anti-gay charities. And I haven't read the whole story. So, don't jump on my throat when I say some of this stuff. But, I have to reference Jackson Pierce here. Jackson A. Pierce on YouTube here. Um, she referenced Proverbs 25:21, which stated, If your enemy is hungry, give him food to eat. If he is thirsty, give him water to drink. But, when you're doing that, you're taking it out of context. As a minister of the gospel, a.k.a. the Bible, I am a ta I have been taught, because I have just graduated from college, uh, from a Christian college here, that you're supposed to exegete, which means break apart the whole entire context not just one single verse, because you're able to, yes, you're able to get a lot from one single verse, but you're supposed to expound from a verse, but break down out of context. So, here's another verse that's normally connected with this, uh, and it states, this is verse 22 of that same chapter. In doing this, you will keep burning coals on its head, and the Lord will reward you. Lord capitalized is Jehovah, God. So, if you if you give your enemy those who are against you something to eat or drink, so these people who are protesting, who are going to go if they follow Jackson Pierce, and ask for a glass of water, and Chick-fil-A gives it to them? Well, biblically, because she was like, oh, let's, he, the whole biblical, the wide spectrum of biblical principle pertaining to Old Testament, and I understand you're referring to Old Covenant principle and all that. However, if you want to refer to Old Testament, I can give you this right off the top. If if a anti uh, person who is homosexual, uh, part of the LGBT community, comes or goes to Chick Fil A on August first and doing the whole Proverbs twenty five twenty one. Then, verse 22 says, You will keep burning coals on his head. Meaning, pretty much, there will be judgment upon this, that individual. And the Lord, God, will reward you. Meaning, you'll be able to spot out the wrong that they're doing a.k.a. the counter-protest, so to speak, against a biblical uh, Christian stance on marriage. I'm not going to say biblical, because a Christian stance on marriage is one man, one woman. The biblical stance, it, yes, we understand there were multiple wives and concubines, but Solomon... 700 wives, 300 concubines. But, you look, nowadays, you look, at, there's that one man, one woman. That's what constitutes a Christian marriage. 
and we family the traditional family basis that Mr. Kathy is referring to is just that. One man, one woman, couple kids, probably family pet. A principle that Christians need to really stand up for. And granted, I love Chick-fil-A. I haven't been there often, but I do love Chick-fil-A. And I have to say that Chick-fil-A being the, a Christian foundational rest, restaurant is one, that is a rare finding, really. Especially in the fast food chain world. The fast food restaurant business. For having a, a Christian outlook. Which is a very good thing. And my cuck, like I said, my cuck be one. Individuals who are anti, who pretty much do not believe in the anti-gay marriage principle to go f forth to Chick-fil-A and support. Now, like I said, Jackson Pierce wants people to go for just water. A large cup of water. Supposedly to cut into their profits. Paper, granted, paper costs can be, it can be costly because, of course, cups come in large cups, big sizes, large quantities. I know I used to be a, uh, pretty much I could say I was a crew member for another fast food chain, and I used to unload the truck for uh, this com company, and I know sizes of stuff, so, I mean, this, I think that box, the box I, boxes of large cups I used to lift would be about 30 pounds, I, about 30 pounds, I think, so, fortunately enough, they only had to go on the bottom shelf, <laughs> so, in that situation, you have to take into that account regarding such things. Now, like I said, I did not view the whole story, but it is, Paul even said, the Apostle Paul even said in his um, in one of the letters, it is better to be single than to marry. So you are not in temptation. Or to be celibate. If you, if you are death, if you are called or destined to do so. Now, I am not such in that case. I have a girlfriend. I cannot wait to really be with her for the long haul. And to be honest, if she did pass on, I don't know if I would, and we were married, I don't know if I would pursue a relationship for quite some time. I know someone who has not pursued a marriage after his wife had passed. So, that is something you have to really 
and be thinking. That's something people have to think about, too. Because, granted, you had the Old Testament where you had the numerous wives, you had different laws and that. But we are not under the Levitical laws. We, as, as believers, if you are a believer, we're under the New Covenant, the New Law, under Christ. We are not under... It says in Roman, Romans 12 is a verse that I, is a passage I use frequently when discussing living by the Spirit. It says, therefore, I urge you, brothers, and I usually say sisters just to be inclusive, all-inclusive, even though the, the brothers is technically all-inclusive in the biblical sense, in the Bible, Therefore, I urge you, brothers, in view of God's mercy, to offer your bodies as living sacrifices, holy and acceptable to him. This is your spiritual act of worship. To him is God. Do not conform any longer to the pattern of this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. So, do not conform... Christians are not supposed to conform to the ways of the world, i.e., i.e., LGBT uh, rights. Um, and whatever else is against Christian principles. But be transformed by the renewing of your, of your mind so you will be able to test and approve what God's will is, his good, pleasing, and perfect will. Yes, this is a soapbox. Yes, I am going against what some of these people who are pro- homosexual are for what these people are what people are completely denying the true spirit of God needing to be in this, in this nation and people do not see the necessity of the spirit of God needing to be in their lives there are many great heroes of the faith, but those heroes of the faith are dwindling with each passing day of this year. With not only the Colorado, this uh, recent shooting in Colorado, but there's so many other factors that, there's so many factors since 2001 that you've seen the downturn in Christianity. Granted, you see perk, uh, perks where, oh, everyone's coming together in space and whatnot to unite and whatnot, but it's not the same. People come together in tragedy all the time for comfort, for peace, but the true person to go to for peace is Christ himself. And you don't realize, no one realizes the true dynamic that Christ has on a person's life until they accept him as personal Lord and Savior. And yes, this is a, my, a primary, this station, this channel is a primary newscast. I understand that completely. However, I have, this is my station, so I have a right to voice my opinion on others' opinions. That's one reason why I brought this show into existence. And all the other changes have lost that focus. And I just can't believe that some people would do this. Now, I'll look into this a little bit more in depth, uh, a little bit more in depth study on this. And I'll come back with another. Uh, <clears throat> Not really viewpoint, but more on this subject that I am not fully with people who are pro-LGBT at another time. So, thank you for tuning in. Thank you for hearing me out. And talk to you next time.